So I thought I'd do a quick video on the transpose extrude option in ZBrush. Here I have a, a simple cube with a few extra polygons on it. If I control and drag over these faces and vertices over here, you'll see that they're masked out and the rest remains unmasked. I'm going to control drag on the canvas to deselect that. If instead when you control and drag on top of your model, you hold down control and also alt, it will now mask everything except for the vertices underneath and the, f the faces underneath your selection. That means all of this stuff gets masked and this doesn't. So if I go to move this now, those faces here will move and not the others. Where this comes in handy is if this new transpose, uh, or rather it's not new, but the uh, transpose extrude option, rather than actually just pushing this out, um, if you hold down control, you'll actually get a new version of that. If you hold down control and you let go of control, while your mouse is still holding on and then continue to drag, you'll get equidistant copies of whatever it was that you left at. So if you hold, hold down control and you push out a large space and then you let go of control with your mouse still held down, push out further and it will create copies of that. Um, this works with screen space as well. So uh, you don't need to use the arrows here. You can hold down control and click on one of these. What you can't do is hold down control and get the rotate to work. This is purely for move functionality. So. Um, but having said that, you can still use this to get some, some kind of cool shapes. You just hold down control, move, hold down control, rotate, hold down control, rotate, hold down control, rotate. And obviously this would work in symmetry mode um, if you wanted to use symmetry. Hope this tip helps and as ever, um, please do click subscribe and like and comment if you have any other further suggestions for tutorials you'd like to see. Thanks. Bye.